All rise for the Battle Boys <laughs> national anthem. <laughs> we are the Battle Boys. Ben is a battle boy, Alex is a battle boy, Lewis is a battle boy, Tom is also here. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back everyone, um, we, today we're going to play a game of Necromunda with some toys. Ben mm. and Tom played last week. Uh, uh, nope. Tom and Alex Tom played and Alex last played last week. <laughs> Yep. Uh, and because Tom won, he has said I'm allowed to put graffiti or whatever I want. And he didn't even donate. Yeah. You said you were allowed three pieces. Is this just because that's an old house well, rule? So that's how we used to do this. We used to play like right. a big Necromunda campaign with like a big set of terrain and whoever won, they got to do three bits of graffiti on the board. So it slowly like builds up. So after the whole campaign when like a hundred games have been played, it suddenly like started getting really dense and started looking really cool. You know, people would go and draw, scribble out other people's bits of graffiti, but that counted as one of yours. Mm. Or would you like to have a big thing saying like, your gang's cool? <laughs> um, but yeah. uh, just while I was waiting, you know, I wanted to do a thing and so I'm doing some graffiti. So, because I'm away next week, mm. and the week after, and the week after that, um, I'm much. gonna play my game today yeah. against Alex. Mm -hmm. And then for the next three weeks, you guys actually can play all the rest of the games out that are needed. By the time you're back, You'll we have, will have we'll all have... played two games each. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. And, uh, How did that happen? <laughs> I know. It's almost like we planned it. It's, it's good. Actually, no, I will still have to play Tom when I get back, actually. On the week I get back. Oh, that's true. And then we will have all played three games yeah. each. Yes. Perfect. Three, three games, yes. So we almost planned. <laughs> Three weeks enough for a game of Postal Necromunda? <laughs> Postal Necromunda, Playboy Post, wow. Oh my god. You are in Australia, so like that time, time I difference. I don't think it would even be that difficult these days on Skype. No. I could just be here like a, on a TV and... Oh, you we know, could get one of those like robots with an iPad strapped to it. And I could control the robot arm with a joystick. Oh my and like move my, oh, my dudes. We, right. we put a big industrial crane in the middle, a kid's toy crane. Yeah. Oh, and you were sat in Australia with a remote control. Yeah. Like a, but it won't be able to grip them. They're never strong enough. <laughs> oh shit, yeah. <laughs> They'd be in the sludge. Just, it's a nice they mechanic. They'd slip over. <laughs> well, you've done some painting and also mm. Alex has brought in the Baby Oil Boys gang in oh. this, this mm. box. <laughs> Check it it's out. Nice I think all. it's amazing. Beautiful it's, pink box. It's got hearts on it. It says Net Commander on the front. It looks like a little girl's perfect lunchbox, Alex. We've we've should have fixed this camera, so I I haven't opened this. I don't no, know what to is, expect. I think we've all seen it except for you. We want the oh the, the see. pure joy. So inside this box, let's do a little live box opening, okay? Inside this box, Alex, <laughs> is a little pink sticker. Oh, no <laughs> touch. <laughs> And it's got my gang sheet on here. Now this is available, I made a Google Doc of it, so you guys can actually see yeah, what gangs we're playing with Shane. Last week, well not last week, the third, my first game, I lost my champion, Magnus, he died. He was, oh, he, and Magnus. also my leader, Brave Magnus. if you remember, he got shot. He nearly died. And nearly died, but I carried him to the doctor, spent all of my credits, and I had to sell a spud jacker, actually, as well, and get him out. But he's not going to be playing this game. He's missed next game. So I've actually got a fairly small roster of available dudes. Um, three, four, five, six dudes I've got. So here they are. Baby little, baby oh little boys. Oh, my God. Look at them. They look so good. <laughs> 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 Holy shit. Oh, they are they're, they're, oh, like they're wearing, like, like, girly pyjamas. It's like they're all ready for a sleepover <laughs> party. Like a, a, what's it called? A slumber party. Yeah. Yeah. A pillow party. Wearing their, wearing their, wearing their baby grows. Oh, so this is one of the ones that you've actually finished up. So this is this is Brawl Hollywood. He's oh. still alive. Um, so he's going to be he's, he's going to be leading my gang today. Give me someone a good nailing with his rivet gun. Oh no! And then I've got th I've got some other gangers. Hang on, let me just check the names. Uh, we've got we've got a guy with a um, we've got Graf Utin with a stub cannon. We've got um, another guy a ganger with a stub cannon. He's coming along today. He's Ostov. We've got Angus McFife. Here he is. Oh man, with the face mask. He's yeah, looking yeah. actually quite creepy. Yeah. I, I don't think that's, that's cool, Angus. Like, you know, 
That's not cool for the slumber party. You know, it's not putting people. <laughs> yeah. It's not putting yeah. people. Yeah. Give us all nightmares. So, so, so someone invited Mike Myers to the slumber party. <laughs> yeah. This is Frodo. He's not he's me. new to the gang. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I love these guys so oh, wow. much. Oh my creepy grins. Jeez. <laughs> he looks wow. really sinister. <laughs> um, and then we've got a couple more guys. Oh, your leader's in there, right? Uh, this is my leader. Yeah, look at how badass he looks. I'm glad I got him back because. If I didn't, you know, I wouldn't stay in a single... But maybe it's good that he's missing this game, because then when I get to play against Tom, he'll be fresh. Yes. He'll be ready to bring the pain with his combi plasma stub gun and his power hammer with a fucking face <laughs> drawn on it. <laughs> Alex, oh my God. This looks fucking amazing. Look at those tight buns. See, they work out for that, you know? You've got to work mm. to get that kind of body. Um, so let's, let's try not to spill all of my tea everywhere, and we'll pass the camera over to Alex's... Mm group of girls. Oh, oh boy. So I'm I'm I've got three out of action this week, which isn't so isn't so smart. So you're miss, I'm missing one, but you're missing three. Yeah. Yeah, so it's these these three here at the moment. So from uh, left to right, we've got Lanka there, who was my girl with the grenades. She's out. Uh, in the middle is Ninja Muffin and the rat. Oh, um, both out. So yeah, so both of those are out. That was a two for one. <laughs> um, and the Vitruvian woman as well, who was actually doing all right. I think she did some pretty good sniping last game, but... Oh, she yeah. did. She got a lot of lot of hits in. Yeah, she was doing okay. And she <laughs> fell off a roof, Not didn't she? She got the humiliating oh. wound. Do you remember? She lost her oh, trophies. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That was it. She's still crying news, about that. <laughs> so yeah, so those three are out, I'm afraid. Um, another one that actually died was Zephlopod Zargosian. He was uh, yeah, just coming to get some plastic surgery done by the ladies and actually just cocked it. Just well, yeah, he overloaded his there. plasma pistol, didn't he? And yeah. it like, blew his own face off. Mm. But <laughs> she has brought her twin sister, <laughs> Krabina Zargosian. So you, you've recruited a brand new, a brand new champion. A champion. She's actually slightly more combat ready than, than he was. So hopefully this is going to make the difference. So yeah, all Zargosians are clones as well, I think. So yeah, she doesn't look too dissimilar to him, but there we go. That, that's um, racist, Alex. You can't wow. say a whole race of people look the same. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these guys look so good. You can't say that there's too much overlap um, with Ben's gang. That's that whole <laughs> yeah. They're the racist ones. I love the bases that you've done. So. Yeah, they're not bad, actually. I've actually drawn those red lines, if anyone's interested in book rules. This Ooh. new version of Necromunda has facings on it. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah, so yeah. you... Um, I've got a thing for that. Yeah. Thank oh, God you put facings on mine as well. Look, yeah, so I can, yeah. I can follow the so rules. So when we're working so out... We can, like... all, we can all play by the rules this time. Look at this. If we really want so to. Line oh, the red line even up. bought a template. The template. Holy exactly. shit. That's what they can see. It's all going to get serious now. This is serious. So yeah. this, is a, this is pro league necromundering <laughs> at this stage. Um, so the stakes are high. If you get to sit and paint a, paint a big picture of you on the, on the buildings each time, I mean, this is... Yeah, these are big stakes. Well, I feel like what we're seeing here is kind of like you know Wolverhampton Wanderers <laughs> versus Bolton. You know, it's not we're not like the top tier. It's it's we got Manchester United and Chelsea sat here painting today, right? Yeah. <laughs> but this is like the bottom of the league relegation. Yeah. I mean, this, oh, is, yeah. this is like a like a kids party at the bowling lanes before the actual sort of <laughs> before the world. Yeah, yeah, the guys the club, come out. The clubs turn up. At That's seven right. At night. Uh, so yeah, and then what else have we got? So these three managed to survive as well. So we've got Ginger Snap Girl and Imixus with the Laz gun in the middle and the... Uh, oh, your Cryo uh, Flame. Uh, yeah, cryo, cryo, torch. cryo Torch. So yeah, she still... She did actually do something, didn't she? She flamed one of Tom's guys with a weird hat. And most of his guys <laughs> with a weird hat. <laughs> with the weird hat. That's <laughs> yeah, so rude, <laughs> Tom. That's so rude. Yeah, I know, I know. It's terrible. Some of my guys have got weird hats. Which one mm. was it? Oh, it was the shotgun guy. That was um, Warriorc. Can, yeah, we, bring, can we bring him in? Oh, yeah, should we show Because yeah. you've nearly finished your gang now. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, my God. Tom, they look fantastic. Tom as well. All right, yeah, let's pass this over to Tom so we can see his okay. progress. So, this is the leader. I can't remember what his name was. Um... Uh, thingamajog. Sing off uh, the magnanimous. The magnanimous. Oh, yeah, I don't have my sheets on me. Shog off the magnanimous. So he's like my leader. So he's kind of colourful. They still need a little bit of painting. Then um, here's um, Jomps. Oh, yeah, uh, he's, Jomps. He's got a beard and he's got a big gun. Of course, the boils. Uh, They've come he, along a bit more since the boils days. He's got a boils. Um, <laughs> this is Speed Fox. He's got a cool jumpsuit. He his looks two like guns. a fucking nightmare zombie. <laughs> um, he's got his boils. He's got like a yellow tank of pus. 
wait, ready and waiting to... Um... It's like, that's, that's like, um, instead of a blood transfusion, if someone goes down, you give them a pus transfusion. Pus transfusion, <laughs> so like yeah. that boils a bit. Uh, Another terrifying fucking zombie creature here. Yeah, he's got more boils all over him. Um, he's a gross. He's the guy with the shotgun and the funny hat. No, he's hat. the hat, the funny hat guy. He's um, the farmer. His but, hat's so funny. But when it's done, it's going to be bright yellow. <laughs> I think a bright yellow hat is... It's um, not bright yellow enough now. No, it's no. It's quite it's, a straw hat at the moment. Yeah, like... Um, is it going to be fluorescent? I don't understand how oh, much more like yellow a, it needs like to be. Like a rain hat. Bright like yellow. A, yeah, yeah, that's exactly <laughs> what Like a rain hat. <laughs> um, so this guy... Um, he was sat behind my water pot while I was painting, and so he's a lot less painted than the others. <laughs> right. <laughs> because... You forgot about him. I forgot about him. Water. Like, when I was sat oh. there, I just didn't notice him. And so there's Conroy von Van Volk fan. I mean, he is Oof, he's, quite, ooh, he's quite a character. He's my favourite. He was a real um, asshole last game. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's good. Also, I didn't notice him Is he the guy who can move twice and then shoot a flame? Yeah. That's, that's he's thought. very good. He's yeah. one like bullshit. Crab Miles Argosian unloaded the max charge plasma pistol into him. And he just got flesh wounded. Oh yeah, he shot his balls. And, um, yeah, um, I didn't notice at first, but he actually has giant earrings. I saw those earlier. They're pretty. Was giant. just like so they're not painted yet, but he has these just ridiculously <laughs> huge earrings, which I think makes him cooler. They're quite good. They're like sort of mirror ball earrings, just, uh, like disco. Oh, Maybe they're trophies. I'm not even sure damage. where his ears are. I mean, he's um, sort of got a really weird brain case. This then, is. Then um, this is by me, Moomi knee. Yeah, uh, he's like a little guy with a pistol and a thing. And then, last of all, oh, of course, the guy with the hat and the shank is the yeah. Poolagoon Kid. Yeah, there he, is. <laughs> <laughs> he just zooms around. Also, he has a cool, like, little bag <laughs> as well. What on the, the floor? No, no, yeah, it's on his like, back. He's just got, got this, like, a little, little purse, purse under his that he yeah. runs around with. Right. What's he keeping um, there? Like, grenades, maybe. He's he's my guy that has grenades. We don't know. A spare knife. Actually, no, not a spare knife because they're really expensive. Yeah. Um, and not a spare grenades because he threw his one grenade last time. Oh, yeah, game. he threw his one grenade. <laughs> and it ran um, out immediately. Right, mm. let's get on with it. Okay, oh my god. Also, it? Alex, you've got some pink dice for me to use. I've, yeah. I love you so much. Yeah, that's it. Look pink dice. And Holy crap. I think we'll save these for later. Oh, these because... are little tokens. I yeah, can yeah, use. These, are, these are baby oil. Um... Baby oil oh. counters. It's protein shake. Yeah, exactly. Stuff. Protein stuff shake we need all the sort of to good stuff. Keep the gang going. Oh my god, Alex, there's also pink pencils in here. Pink pencils. And a pencil sharpener that's pink. Oh my god. And a rubber <laughs> that's pink. Alex, why? Well, and a rubber. <laughs> it's like I'm a teenage I mean, girl at school and well, I've packed yeah, my, my mum like, packed my bag. Well, it's, it's very pretty, appropriate. Now I know you like pink, Cindy. <laughs> exactly. I wouldn't I I couldn't really pick a theme and yeah, so that's what I, I, I think a teenage girl would pink. Be so let's get this show on the road. Okay. Right, I'll read the scenario. Oh my god. What is this scenario right, so for when, today, Ben? Let's roll some dice. So this means lowest gang rating can pick. Okay, <laughs> what is the lowest? Who am I? Am I the lowest? You're the lowest yeah. gang rating. I'm, I'm top of the charts at the yeah. moment. Is that because yeah, you've yeah. got money from yeah, your well, territory? I, I, I bought another, I bought uh, the Zargosian back as a champion, champion. this time. Yeah. Oh, I see. You um, bought you up. You you, you, so, you made yeah, a bit of money. Yeah, and you yeah made a bit of money. It. Spent it all, and then. Mm. And since Alex has made the amazing Mad Max factory, yes. Mm. Do you want to go uh, bust some shit up? I I am happy to do whatever you pick, Ben. Mm. I'll let you decide. Well, what I thought I... it was appropriate that you do a sabotage mission. Okay, mm. um, so I need to sabotage like lip gloss factory, the, or what are you guys make. I think lip gloss is is in at the moment, isn't it? It is. It's pink, one of those big pink things. Lip My guys use a lot um, of it. Actually, yeah. <laughs> I do know. Okay. Which is why we maybe want to. <laughs> yeah. Well, Stop you guys making it. So well, ba baby oil is a really important ingredient of making lip gloss. I'm not sure oh, if anyone knows. Shit. So you're uh, like hiking up the price of baby oil. You're hiking up the price of baby oil. I, mean, I all see. Of this. And yeah, you're never going to get on the cover of Muscle Mag without. We're not. Of, you know, properly oiling up. So <laughs> I think that gives you a, gives you a good okay. reason to. Um, so this is the target right here. This make this the, attack. The chem sludge pump that pumps all the chem sludge. Into the factory. You got it. Mm -hmm. You knock that out, that'll keep them out of commission for a while. Um, the rules are for that is it's got toughness six, a five plus armor save, four wounds. How does a, how does a, 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 a toxic waste pump get wounded? Well, you blow, you shoot it, uh -huh. and you smack it with hammers. Bits of it fall off. Bits of it fall <laughs> off, and then okay. eventually you hit it enough times and it stops working. Does it have to roll an injury dice? No. You just once it's taken the wounds, it's, it's gone. It's only a flesh <laughs> wound. <laughs> yeah. My factory. So um, if you're shooting at it, you get plus two to hit it, because it's a big, easy target that's not trying to take cover. Mm -hmm. And if you're in melee, you hit it automatically. 
because you can't miss a giant sludge pump. But then to get in melee with it, you've got to go and stand in the sludge. That's exactly. <laughs> in the campaign, any fighter who wounds the target gains one XP for each wound they cause, plus one if they destroy it. Can you charge it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> you got spanners and shit, right? Does it explode? Nope. Okay. It just goes poof. I'm, just, I'm asking these questions for, <laughs> just so I don't get surprised <laughs> when inevitably a guy ends down face down in the sludge next to it and you're like, do you want to shoot it because it's going to explode and that guy's drowning in sludge? All right then. Right then. So then you get tactics cards. The attacker can choose normally up to three tactics cards. So these, these are things we haven't used yet. They come yeah. with Necromunda. Um, and they're like special things. Special abilities that you can trigger. Now, I'm allowed to choose three. But because you've got a lower gang rating, you can have an extra one. Ooh. Ooh. Like underdog bonus. I'm allowed to choose four. Yeah. And mm. Alex, as the defender, um, you have to randomly shuffle yourself two cards from your deck. Oh, fuck it. Yeah. I'll take well, I'll grab take, that I'll, one you showed me before the game. I'll take the four Goliath tactics cards. Oh, there the you go. Goliath special. And I'll leave the normal. Mm-hmm. I'll keep all the baby cool. boys ones, and then I'll leave all the normal fair. ones back. So these are things I can do, like this one says play this card and instead of acting of a fighter, and it lets me do something, which will surprise you mm-hmm. and so dazzle you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to dazzle me, so I was marvelous. Yes, that's all right, you were reading your... Yeah, yeah. Okay, you, did you get them randomly? Uh, yeah, I got two random ones, so, so... Do you think you should get two random Escher ones? So I think it'd be more fun if he's using, like, theme. No, have you got an Escher of... one in there? Or... Well, no, we'll just see no, what both, do. both of these They're all new, we don't know what any of them do. This, so... one, this yeah. one seems quite good. It'll be fun. Right, so Alex can deploy up to five of his guys as sentries, who are keeping a lookout, mm-hmm. and the rest will arrive as reinforcements once the alarm has been raised. Okay. So, so how many don't people have to... are we allowed? Um, you will get your whole gang. I get six people? Mm-hmm. Okay. Alex gets five, but well, up to five, and then everyone else will come on once the reinforcement alarm is yelled. Mm. So the downside, well, obviously, if you have a lot of sentries down, it's good because you have more chance of spotting the enemies approaching. But if you have lots of sentries out, that might mean your your best guys are not in the place that you want them to be, um, and they can get picked mm. off. And they can get picked off like one at a time. Oh my god, Alex! That's You've literally that. placed. What's the name? Cryo torch on the cryo torch. Yeah, guarding the thing. Nice. Dodging yeah. the sludge. So that sludge. Well, does it make you one toughness weaker when you're standing in it? If you're standing in it, in it minus one toughness. Right. And if you're lying down in it, uh, bad times. Bad drowning. Mm. Lady Snowglobe and Zephylopod Zargosian are oh, turning yeah. up a little bit later on, I think. They're right. just off having well, a consultation at the moment. your leader is off. Leader and champion. Yeah. Leader and champion are off the board at the start. Oh, they're yeah. off having like a, a chat and a biscuit. Yeah, Ooh. having a consultation about the skin... <laughs> the skin <laughs> tones or whatever. And what to do with how to hu- use makeup to minimize the look of the claw? Yeah, just to kind of decrabulate. <laughs> right. I think with with contouring. You got it. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> Those crab nails takes really long time to do the whole crab claw. Yeah, yeah. exactly. This <laughs> is like three bottles. Uh, right. Then the attacker sets up each of their fighters within two inches of any edge of the battlefield. Mm-hmm. They can be set up on different edges if you wish. Okay, no, I can do that. I, I like to divide my force as mm-hmm. a, as a ways. That's something divide like, and conquer. That's something we, we've we've always <laughs> done is split yeah. into groups. We we Goliaths know how to split into two small groups. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> that's literally what we're gonna do. We're gonna put. I feel like they should set up into one long group mm. and two smaller round groups. Oh yes, mm. the right. classic formation. <laughs> now this is the a hunter's of pike. They can the enemy territory. <laughs> this, this of course is the, the um, leader is the tip of the spear. Oh yes. This is our official truck here, so I think God. we should come in. Oh, you're on the truck. On the oh, truck. Nice. Like, dri- dri- he's like, drive driven the truck in, and he's dropped the other guys off on the other side of the board. So we're going to have three guys on one side and, wow. and the other guys. Somehow the Escher did not hear this coming. We, we came along with well, muff- a muffler. muffler delivery. Truck. Yeah, muffler. Yeah, exactly. It was a delivery of and he's in nail the, files. In the back. <laughs> sure. okay. And then they drop these guys off on the other side. So we'll put these guys over here, mm-hmm. and we'll put. We'll put the um, so this ganger is actually Bijarij. He's dropped his shitty. St- he, he well he his spud jacket got sold <laughs> to actually. pay your doctor's bills. So he didn't even he only had a cleaver. So he's picked up Magnus's renderizer and then we're gonna back him up with the other two gangers. So, so these are these are our gangers here. Okay. And then so we've got our champion with our our juve and another ganger there. Right. Mm-hmm. And then here's how sentries work. Um, when a sentry is activated, you activate, when it's your turn to take a turn, mm-hmm. Alex, you roll a dice to see which one gets activated. Ooh, um, random. Both players roll a dice, in fact. <laughs> if the dice is, well, first of all, you randomise which sentry it is. Mm-hmm. Then both players roll a dice. 
Um, if you roll the same number, the century goes in a random direction. Um, if they're not the same, the player who rolled highest can move the century that number of inches. Um, so, for example, if Lewis rolled a five and you rolled a three, Lewis could move that model up to three inches. Basically, it's the highest number chooses, but they move the distance of the lowest number. Gotcha. So am I trying to stay, stay hidden? So you're trying to move the sentries out of your path while you make your approach. Right. Um, oh, I see. So should, I should have gone all four both sides of the board. I should have stealthily tried to sneak someone through. Okay, now that's fine. Um, I'm just going to charge in, honestly. This is how the yeah. guys don't sneak around. Yeah, you're going to struggle stealthing around in that thing. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> it's really quite, it's quite beautiful, this right. truck. Then after the sentry moved, you roll a 2d6. If any attacker is within that many inches and within their vision, they uh, are at risk of being spotted. Which is, um, if they're in the open, it's very easy to spot them. If they're in cover, it's not so easy. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what? So I could just start moving people around, can I? Mm. Willy yeah, nilly. And what I'm going to say is the the bot. You could shoot this thing, but the if you're shooting it from from ground level, it gets hard cover from these walls. If you're shooting it from above, it's in the open. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just to make that clear, she's really got a good view on the whole battlefield from here. This was a good placement for her. Yeah, I mean it makes sense. She's the tech one with the flamey thing. She's in there just fixing the Cthulhu, you know, she's the techie one. This one's in here on a, on a computer. You know, Ginger Snaps girl's just running around, practicing. Okay. Something. Graffitiing the graffiti, graffiti building. Graffitiing the graffiti. So I can yeah. move your, your, I can move Cryo Torture Alpha. Well, if, uh, Lewis goes first. You, you activate one of your Goliaths first, then a sentry goes, then one of your Goliaths, and a sentry, then a Goliath. And a All right, let's jump down off the back of this truck. We get to move eight, so we can move the guy around here. Great. Um, mm. Right, then we roll to see which century goes first. So how many are there? There's four? Four at the moment. Okay, yeah. so we're going one, one two, two, three, three four. four. Mm -hmm. Five, six, six, four. Um, four. Oh, Ginger Snap Ginger Girl. Snap Girl. So Lewis and Alex both roll the dice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Didn't even know there was one there. There's a one, a one. and a four. a four. So Lewis can move Ginger Snap Girl one inch. One inch. And yes. face any direction you like. Yeah, let's move up over this pipe. Walking that way. She's, she's checking this side of the map because she thinks yeah. I deployed here, which I was thinking about doing because <laughs> I didn't know she was on the board. <laughs> I was thinking, there's only three centuries, right? She's got a lot of good camo. Okay, then it's um, Lissa's game. I get to move again. Okay, well, we'll move um, our leader behind here. And he's still mm -hmm. invisible. There we go. Cool. So he's going to sneak up time again. from the front. Mm -hmm. Oh, and then we do another century. century. So it's number one, which is... Um, oh, it's number one. It's a sniper, oh, yeah, and then, yeah. then you do the roll-off. Sniper, off. and now we roll off. Yeah, we've got a five. I've got a five. It's a draw. Oh, so now it's a um, scatter dice. <sighs> well, she rolls. She goes in a random direction. Yeah, but I'm not sure pit. how far. Let me check. And she won't do anything yeah. stupid that a normal person wouldn't do. Right. Um, if they're the same, sentry turns to face the direction by the scatter dice, but doesn't move. Okay. Bam. Board of computers. What's going on over there? What's going I on heard over a truck there. pull There's up. a truck <laughs> driving in. All right, well, we'll do the same with this guy. We'll move this guy over here and uh, with, with, his, with his chum. Mm -hmm. So that's that. And then we roll again. Uh, uh, yeah, we've uh, randomized which one first. One, two, three, four, five, six. Cool, so that's the flamer. Cool, so Fire torch. Yep. One. A six. So Ooh, Alex so can move her an inch, up, uh, but you can just turn to face any direction you like. Mm. So we get to, we're sneaking, sneaking up on you now. Sneaky Goliath. That's terrible. So if I, if I get out into the open and I can be seen by any models, that's a bad thing, right? Yeah, open is, is bad and closer is worse. Open is bad and closer is worse. Yeah. Mm. How, how does rules work for jumping up buildings uh, you can and attacking climb, people? You can climb up a building. Um, if there's no ladders, you go, um, every inch costs you two inches of movement. Okay. Every inch costs you two inches. Up was double movement and yeah. down is free. So, oh, okay. I mean, we're talking, mm. that's three inches high. Yeah, so that will cost you six inches. Mm. Oh my God. Let's climb up that. That's pretty hard. I can't, I'm definitely going to have to. I mean, you can walk up to the wall for like two inches and then six inches up and then that's your move. It's a risky business because if she turns around before you get to attack. Well, exactly. That's like a six inch, six inches is like a double move, isn't it? Yeah. It's so like, I mean. Pretty yeah, hard I, six inches. I feel like what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move. I'm going to stay invisible for a little bit and just get an extra, because I need all the inches I can get, right? <laughs> sure, don't we, all, don't we all? Don't we all? I need all the inches oh, I can no. get. And I feel, I feel like I'm in cover at the moment, so I might as well sneak up to here. Uh, with the, I mean, oh, there is a sort of a ticking clock. 
Um, right. At the end of every turn, you roll a dice and add the number of turns. And if you go over a number, the alarm gets automatically raised. Right. So if you take 10 turns thinking about it, the alarm's going to go off anyway. 10, what, what 10, well, 10 let me actual find, turns? Let me start check, to finish. Let me check the actual. Because that's ages. I let mean, me, I'm, I, I'm just wondering, Ben, how serious it is to put myself in the open here. I've got, can I put hmm. myself in the open or not? Do you know what I mean? I see what you're saying. Uh, so the, the rule is um, you roll a dice and add the current turn number at the end of the turn. Okay. And then on eight or more, the alarm is raised. Okay, cool. That's so the fine. alarm can't go off on its own until turn, well, I guess at the end of turn two. All right, I'm good. Okay. Yeah. So the last one I've got now is Saxo over here, mm -hmm. who's busy shotgunning a, a staircase. He says it randomizes every turn. So it's different. No, yeah, it's yeah. One. Oh, it's and a one. It is draw. random. It could be the same century every time. Oh, could it? Yeah. Oh, OK. Right. So it's century one, so it's this one here. OK. Um, oh, good thing I didn't climb up there. It does. Two, oh, four inches. Yeah. Oh, so Alex can move So I could just four. spin her around. You don't have to do the full mm. distance. So you don't, you can just spin mm. around, you don't actually move. Yeah. yeah, so basically Alex won the roll off, so he gets to move so her now, up to four inches in any direction. Mm. Okay. So now we've got these guys covered on this side of the building. It seemed like a strong mm. tactic. Which way mm. is she looking into the building? She's just looking the wrong yeah. way. Yeah, yeah, I All just right, threw we'll her down. We'll move him, move my renderizer guy as far as he can go. Mm -hmm. oh, she's, she's like, I guess she can see him, so he's just out of the way. Mm -hmm. yeah. Behind, he's creeping up this wall. So yeah, one, two, three. Four. Four, so Ginger Snap Girl, she's on the rampage again. Oh, it's tricky, this. There we go. Ooh, what's that noise over there? <laughs> Sounds like a renderizer. <laughs> Sounds like a renderizer <laughs> revving up. <laughs> cool, so that's the end of turn one, I suppose. You've done everybody, haven't you? I you think so. Boys? Yeah, cool. yeah I've moved turn one. Um, so we start turn two. Mm -hmm. um, dice off to see who goes first. Six. A two. All right, yeah, Lewis gets to go first. So, right. Remind me what happens when I start revealing myself. What's so, the, oh no. If you shoot. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> we get bad some twitch to this. We get really badly in trouble. <laughs> Don't um, do that. So if you shoot a gun, yeah. you roll 2d6 and have the strength. If you get over 10, the alarm is raised. Right. Um, if you attack someone and don't take them out of action, there's a chance the alarm is raised. Okay. And if a sentry ends their move, Looking at you, they roll two d six, and if you're within that distance, there's a chance they'll spot you. Okay, oh, shit. shit. I'm pretty glad I didn't move my guy up onto the top, actually, because that would have <laughs> really messed me around. We're going to start by doing a simple move. We're going to move this this guy down here because he needs to go. Oh, like, your, your he champion with needs the, to move. the rivet cannon. So we're going to move him. I think six and two, so he can get eight. I mean, he is kind of going into the open here. Mm, he's quite far away though. But he is a good distance away. I guess he's really shaded. There's lots of like shadows in this part it's of the all, It's all the smoke from the factory. Oh, and steam and things. So he can be seen like by, by, by chem thrower girl if you, if you, if, but you know, he's, 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 in, he's in the shadow of the bridge. Mm. So he might be all right. Creeping about. All right. So they're getting ready to reveal himself to her. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't sound like the Muscle Boys game. No, it doesn't. Oh god. Oh, so one, two, three, four. It's a four. Four, so it's Ginger it's Snap. Girl. She's, She's really, really twitchy today. She's really, really restless. She's got a little... Five words. and three. All yeah. oh, right. So I can move an inch, can I? Yeah. In a random direction. In a direction of your choice and looking in a direction of your choice. All right, I think she'll continue to go this way. She thinks she's heard something over here. So there you go. She's going that way. He's not looking. He's not paying attention. Deary me. Distracted. Cool. So yeah, your next guy. All right, next guy. I think we're gonna probably send a guy up, up, up the, um, up this building. Okay, for three, mm -hmm. for six, sorry, and then two more to behind these crates. Nice. Straight up, and then he can go forward to not very far. He can go to here. Ooh. I'll never see him coming in those jumpsuits. <laughs> 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 They're pretty, pretty stealth, like Power aren't they? range. <laughs> <laughs> this is the problem with using a. Oh, it's, it's Ginger Snap Girl again. Yeah, she's sneaking around. Let's see if I can get around the whole corner. Oh, four, four. That's a draw, so that's random so direction. Yeah, stay still and look in a random direction. She's That'll looking work. that way. Oh dear. Is she able to see this guy? I think she probably might be, but he's yeah, twelve inches away, isn't he? Yeah. So is it a? It's a two d six. 
Um, so if he's over 12, no. Oh, no, 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 the corner of this building is well in the way, I think. Oh, is it? Yeah. yeah. She's all right. This guy, he's, he's looking this way, right, down this corridor, mm -hmm. so he'll see if, if I dart past. Mm. So I think I might just do the same with this, and just, just dash him up onto, onto this floor as well. Because if I stay together, at least if one of them gets seen, they both get seen. Yeah. Makes All right. sense. Here we go, Alex. Two. Number two. Ooh, cryo oh, torch. Yeah. Uh-oh. Yeah, this is a biggie. It's important. Four. Oh, you've got it. Okay, so, so I can... You can fact, move her one inch, but not into the sludge. Mm. I don't really want to move her, actually, because so I don't think I can move her, really. Well, you can pick her facing, basically. Yeah, I think I, I, think I can't move her. She's, she's, you've done well here, because yeah. I'm not allowed... I think one inch yeah. is, like, too far to actually move her off. I think I'm just going to face her this way, so she can't see any of my dudes. Mm. She's facing back towards uh, Ginger Snap. She's like, Ginger yeah. Snap girl, stop fucking stop, around stop over there! Around. You got any lip gloss? Taking off the walls. <laughs> got any lip gloss. <laughs> All right, and then we will, I think, we're going to start moving these boys around here now. Mm -hmm. So we're going to dash this guy across to this building here. The cover of this building. This is quite a long way to go, actually. Yeah, it's good though, you're getting all your all your ducks in a row. Though. I'm getting a surround on. Yeah. The stealth is working out just about, but it's a, there's always a gamble that two. Two. So it's cry torch again. Cry torch is having another look around. This could be could be the biggie. Ginger snap girl through. Oh. oh thank God. I rolled higher than Alex, mm. so she doesn't move. Mm. All right, we'll do this next boy, um, and he'll. We're just gonna we're just gonna come come around here. Provide some fire support for for our, our brave boys. He's behind that building. Mm -hmm. Not moving forward very far. Okay, Alex, four. Four. So is that? No, it's Ginger Snap. Oh, it's Ginger Snap. <laughs> <again. laughs> Your favourite. It's just two like ants. In Five. A pants. Okay, you get Ooh. to move there. Oh, really? Two inch poos. Come on, then. Oh, this is kind of tense, though, isn't yeah, it? Like, it's cool. They're getting, getting quite there. close. The, the the pink boys. Oh, and if either of these like Las Gun girls like looks mm. up, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. they've got them. So it's all gonna Basically. kick off. <laughs> right, I think what we have to do now is we have to leap this guy up. I mean, sneaking around with a renderizer. And so we want him, we want him in that gap, really. Just, just fucking standing just on the top, balls out. Oh. He's creeping up. He creeps up the side of the building. Lewis, please stop tapping ruler. Sorry, Steve. I'm, <laughs> I, should, I shouldn't be allowed. I'm just very nervous, okay? <laughs> yeah. This is the tension, is like. You've been demoted from a ruler to a whippy stick. Yeah, but I'll, just, I'll, just start, I'll just start whipping this instead. Till you can be trusted. Oh, I'm shaking, guys. I'm sweating. This is like worse than when I was playing poker. <laughs> Come on, guys. Keep it quiet. Keep it quiet. Right, so that is his move. So you need to mm -hmm. now do a move. Yeah. I think that's my last move of this round. Yeah. So one. Yeah, Who's that? So one. So one. Oh is no! One. Is she going to see him come up? Could be a big one. Five, two. two. Oh, oh, she doesn't spot him. Back to the computer again. Whew. She's too busy. She's playing like <laughs> oh, Angry Birds shit. or something. Beep, boop, boop, boop. No, no. <laughs> I'm just playing with my computer. <laughs> I have no idea what's about to happen. <laughs> shit. <laughs> Okay. Uh, who's next? Who, that they, is it. That's all, all my people. All the boys, boys roll. So you get to do a... So now it's a uh, roll of destiny at the turn number, which is two. Mm -hmm. so if you roll a six at this point, the uh, the jig is up. Can he do it? It's oh, a two. Now we're going into turn three. Dice off the seat. Who goes around. first? Who goes first? Four. Alex. Okay. So right then. Centuries so, again. One, two, three, four. That's noisy, isn't it? Oh, it's one! Oh! oh. Did Angry Birds, ad break. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a pinged, pinged up an ad. Oh, I was right. hoping to get another action because I would have charged her. Oh, Five. it's a draw, I'm okay. random. Oh, oh I'm okay! Oh, 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 that's so it. So she spins around to look that way. <laughs> He's definitely in her line of sight. Oh, <laughs> shit. Roll 2d6 to see like how bad the, the chem haze is. Oh, and that's how many good. inches she can see. She five, five, five inches. inches. Oh, it looks good. Oh, looks good. It looks good. That looks like it's enough. Okay, so now. Oh, let's... I was really hoping to get, because I moved him last, so I get the chance of the double move, right? Oh, the last and first Yeah, mm. it's a good move. Um, if they're, if they're in the open or within three inches, they're spotted on. Two or more. Mm. Um, he is op in he the is open. He is in the open, and he's probably also within three inches. So, don't roll at one. 
<laughs> Maybe she thinks it's her friend. Oh, for two. She spotted oh, him. Just oh, about no, got it. Oh, no, I should have put shit. him in cover. Oh, yeah, he'd been behind this box. Yeah, no. he might have been all right. Could have been it. He was too cocky. He was like, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Playing Angry Birds. <laughs> Playing Angry Birds. <laughs> 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 